Thank you, Mr. Chair. My bipartisan amendment is very simple. It would move our country in line with industrialized countries around the world that long ago recognized the importance of industrial hemp as a natural resource, an agricultural commodity, and a versatile component in thousands of commercial products. In fact, not only does this amendment bring America in line with much of the rest of the industrialized world, it be, brings American, America back in line with its own history. George Washington and Thomas Jefferson grew it. The first drafts of our Constitution and many of our first laws were written on paper made from it. In fact, during World War II, the USDA encouraged patriotic American farmers to raise it for the war effort. They even produced a promotional film titled Hemp for Victory. And now at least 16 states have passed laws that will allow their farmers to grow it. Unfortunately, the federal government stands in the way of family farmers who want to be able to grow industrial hemp. The senseless classification of hemp as a Schedule I drug does not further public safety, but it does rob our farm economies of a potentially multi-billion dollar crop that can be used to make everything from rope to soap. In fact, it seems like the only thing you can't make out of hemp is Despite the fact that American farmers can't grow industrial hemp, hemp products here in this country account for nearly $500 million in annual sales. Now that's a sizable industry, but nothing compares to the economic impact that full-scale cultiv cultivation and commercialization would have if states were permitted to implement their laws and our hemp did not have to get imported from other countries. This amendment would only allow farmers to grow hemp in accordance with their state laws. It simply divests the Department of Justice and the DEA of their ability to treat industrial hemp like marijuana because it's not like marijuana. So far, 16 states have seen the value that hemp provides and they've passed laws to allow farmers to grow hemp and closely regulate it. Farmers in those states across the country are waiting for the federal government to get out of their way. But because the Department of Justice refuses to acknowledge what Washington and Jefferson knew, that hemp is an important agricultural commodity, it's not marijuana, these state laws must take a back seat to federal overreach. The National Association of State Departments of Agriculture and the American Farm Bureau Federation agree. We should allow our, father, our farmers to grow industrial hemp. I urge my colleagues to support this bipartisan amendment and I reserve the balance of my time.